so the question is can I create a bonsai using only pruning and the answer is definitely yes definitely yes particularly when you're working with deciduous species now we've got a uh, Portuguese oak here and uh, I've been developing the ramification over, over a period really of only about three years what you need to do is you create that structure uh, from a very early stage uh, using uh, cut and grow, which is pruning. Um, if the branches that are coming from the trunk need to be thicker than the branches that are at the end of the ramification. And the way you do that is you have to let the first branch grow long to thicken up to the desired thickness that you want or getting approaching that thickness and then cut back to two buds. So if, uh, if you can see here, We've got two branches which are coming, uh, coming away from, from the main branch here. So what happened was this branch was grown long and then was cut back to two buds. And then from those two buds we got branches and that has happened all the way along that branch. So that's how you're going to create that, that ramification. Cut and grow works particularly well, as we say, for deciduous species. But you can, of course, use it on, on yew trees uh, and on pines, of course. Um, but it's, it does work particularly well with deciduous species. So what we have here is a really good example with a, um, a maple that was rescued from a garden. And the, it's got a very good base on it, as you can see. The nabari needs a little bit of work. But what you had is you had a, a, a tree that was growing probably two or three meters in height. And what I have done is in actual fact done a chop at the back here and are going with in effect these two branches that came off it so what the next stage that i'm doing is um i made a cut here as you can see and then we've got these two branches once i've got this to the required thickness which will be the transition between the nice fat base the reasonably fat trunk i need this that transition between this and this to be sufficient that it's a credible taper so I'm going to let this grow probably two or three meters to thicken up so that that transition is, is good between that and that. What I won't do is I won't cut it now because again, it's thick to very thin. That, that's not, not, not good. The same with this branch here. Um, once it's thickened to the, to the required thickness, I will cut it off to these two buds here and then start to create that ramification. So that ramification works one, two, four, 8, 16 and so on until you get the canopy that, that, that you require. So what we have here is a, a really beautiful little prunus uh, in, uh, in sh uh, show in size which is, which is quite nice uh, in, in a lovely pot but this has only been recently repotted but the canopy has been created significantly with just cut and grow no wire whatsoever. One of the nice things about it is you get good sharp angles a good winter image which is really what we're about with deciduous trees it's fine to see them in leaf but you know to see them when uh, when they're naked in in their winter form that's that's always very important so here we have a prunus spinosa uh, yamadori collected about two years ago maybe three years ago and it's again a case of starting to create that canopy purely with cut and grow uh, no um, no wiring whatsoever uh, and you can see what we've got here is um, first branch <laughs> it's not easy to see but first branch here coming out then the second and then the third so what you've got is good sharp angles now what I'm doing is I'm not really thinking too much about the style at this point really much of the health of the tree and creating branches where the tree is letting me do that when it comes to actually styling this tree I've got a lot to work with and I will, I will choose, choose that style. But again, you know, cut and grow, perfect for prunus uh, species.